just a little info on the CarPlay uh, and MagSafe charger that I put on this car. As you can see, it's just a MagSafe with a milled um, thin piece of aluminum that goes in the OEM bolt holes that are behind the disc changer here. Um, all you have to do is open the door, pull out the disc changer, remove the two screws from the OEM bolt holes, and it's it's gone. But it works really well. Uh, as you can see, this is just a standard iPhone. It goes right on there and charges like that. Um, but the magnet is very, very strong. It does not fall off. It hasn't fallen off for me yet. So that's good. Uh, as you can see, you have all OEM functions here using this controller, you know, whatever you need. Um, navigation is good. Audio, you can change the settings however you want. Telephone, uh, video if you have DVDs playing and the vehicle settings for whatever, interior light, uh, massaging seats, all that stuff. Split view, oh yeah, this car has split view, which is a super cool option. Um, and then your AC. But if you want, just go to hit this button, one, two, three, boom, your CarPlay comes up. So now you have CarPlay using all the OEM controls, see? And it works really well. You know, Waze and Spotify and all the good stuff works perfectly well. The uh, OEM controls work for it here and on the steering wheel, volume and such. So it's a perfect integration. And when you're done with that, or if you don't like using it, just go back to this, hold for one, two, three, four, there you go. So about three and a half, four seconds and you go right back to your OEM. Uh, no sacrifice whatsoever, uh, but all the compatibility of CarPlay, which is great. And if you hold this, you can do Siri too, which is nice. Hope that helps. Boom.